Continuing our discussion about algebraic functions in lecture three here, um, I want to point out some differences about solving and evaluating algebraic functions compared to what we did previously with like geometric and numerical representations of functions. For an algebraic function, evaluations, it's generally a simple task of arithmetic. We saw this in the, in the previous video. If ever you need to evaluate the function at some value x, you find the corresponding y coordinate just by plugging x into the function and you simplify it. And so this makes, for example, finding y coordinates, y intercepts, it, specifically super easy. To find a y intercept, you just have to evaluate f of zero, which again becomes a task of arithmetic, usually worst case scenario right there. Solving an equation is a little bit more challenging, right? So evaluation, you're given the x and you want to find the y. But when it comes in the other situation, when you are given the y and you want to find the x, you have to solve an equation. You have to solve for x the equation f of x equals zero. This can be a little bit more challenging. And therefore, you know, as an example, finding x-intercepts, you have to solve the equation f of x equals zero. That in general is a much more challenging question. And the difficulty of solving this equation f of x equals zero, or f, well, f of x equals zero or f of x equals y, um, it, honestly, the, the, the two are not really any more difficult from, than each other. The difficulty of solving that equation really depends on the nature of the function itself. Uh, linear equations are going to be pretty easy to solve. Quadratic and polynomial get a little bit harder. Rational ones, radical ones, logarithmic ones, exponential ones. These are all function families we'll talk about this semester. And so the nature of solving it depends on the function itself. So we're going to start off because we're at the beginning of our course here with a very, very simple example. Take the, take the function f of x equals 2x plus 5. This is what we call a linear function. We'll talk about some, of mo some more about linear functions in the not too distant future. Um, so let's show how one evaluates and one solves a function uh, that's linear, right? Linear evaluation is pretty nice. If you want to find f of negative 3, you're just going to replace x with negative 3 in your formula and then arithmetically simplify this thing. 2 times negative 3 would give us a negative 6, plus 5 to that would give us a negative 1. And so that is the function evaluation. Not so bad. Uh, now, if we want to solve said equation, right? So solve f of x equals negative 3. So what we're trying to figure out right now is what x-coordinate will produce the y-coordinate negative 3. So in that case, if we, take, uh, if we take f of x is equal to negative 3, we unravel what f of x here means. It means 2x plus 5 equals negative 3. So then we start, we start using laws of algebra to help us solve this thing. So for example, if we minus negative or if we minus 5 from both sides of the equation, we get that 5 minus 5 will cancel out. And then on the right hand side, we get negative 3 minus 5, which will give us a negative 8. Therefore, 2x equals negative 8. And then to get rid of the 2 that's attached to the x, we'll divide both sides by 2. Um, whatever we do to the left hand side, we have to do to the right hand side as well. I like to often say the phrase, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. In order for the equation to be balanced, we have to do the same thing to both sides. Now, why are we dividing by 2? Well, because division by 2 is the inverse operation to multiplying by 2. And so that'll help us solve the equation just by undoing one operation on the left-hand side step by step by step. We then end up with x equals negative 4 over 2, which simplifies to be x equals negative 4. And so this would be the solution to the equation for which you can check said solution by plugging it back into the equation. Notice if you evaluate at negative four the function, you'll get two times negative four plus five, uh, which is gonna be negative eight plus five. Negative eight plus five is equal to negative three, thus verifies that we have the correct solution. And so when it comes to evaluating and solving for functions, in this context, an algebraic function, that's what one does. To evaluate, you plug in the x and simplify. When it comes to finding x given the y, you're going to have to solve some algebraic equation, which will depend on the function itself. This linear equation we did because it's fairly simple. Uh, but as this course progresses, our equations might get more challenging, more challenging, more challenging. But never too challenging for us because we'll take incremental steps uh, before we just dump into the deep end of the pool there.